So Woody contacts me earlier in the week and um, he's like, Tyler's coming over to sell his collection. I hope you're free and you have money. And I'm like, well, I'm free, but I don't have a lot of money. Yeah, I figured that that's the came off part. So I received a letter in the mail <laughs> from my friend Tyler, who's been on the show before a few times. And he, he informed me that he's getting rid of his entire collection. He's decided that he's just reached a point where he doesn't want it anymore. He's keeping a lot of his childhood stuff, but as far as most of the crap he has, he wants it all gone. He wants to sell it. And he wants to sell it to me and Chris. So Chris is late. <laughs> No, 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 no. Everyone else was early, We're I was on time. <laughs> We're not going down that path again. So Tyler rocks up early, and he has his car full of bags. I reckon his car probably had, I think it was 10 bags maybe. And we, we went out there, me, Chris and him went out there to get the bags out of the car and bring him in the house. And we had to do two trips because of the amount of, amount of stuff that he brought. I had a great job over the summer. I had a lot of money. Due to this, it's all gone now. I'm back to being a poor uni student. We've got like a hundred bags here. We're gonna go through it and uh, and pick out what we want to buy because still getting rid of most of your stuff. Yeah. So I don't know, like, where do you want to start? I got pen and paper so we can like write down deals. As we yeah. Can. He starts bringing it out onto the table. Two and one. Yeah. So it's like a game on wow. each side. <laughs> Green Halo Xbox. And he pulls out the green Halo console. And you could say I went green with envy instantly. <laughs> and I've got a Nintendo 64 controller which actually has a decent analog stick. Yeah, that's the horror one, isn't it? Yeah. You say you wanted a tiny yeah. for that? It's tiny, but it works. Black Box Final Fantasy 7. The front of the box has fallen off, I need to find out. I saw it the other day, but I've got a Zelda 1 and Gamble on CDI. Got a factory sealed kill instinct with a watch. I'm not gonna ask a hundred for it. You wanna make me an offer? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna start a maybe pile. How's that sound? Yeah, sure. Is that the maybe pile so far? So far. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to afford any of this. The, the, one, the first, one of the first things he brought out was Sculptor's Cut. Got Clay Fight of Sculptor's Cut, which is one of the rarest Nintendo 64 games. So he's pulling the stuff out. We set the table up. We set the little glass table up. It's not that little. It's, it's a decent sized table over here because we we did that before he rocked up and we just thought he was going to stack all the stuff on the table. We'd have a look at what he had. We'd make some offers. Within about a minute of him being here, he had this table full of games and not cheap games either, not bad games. Sculptor's Cut was on this table, a massive stack of Dreamcast games that had Skies of Arcadia in it and Sonic Adventures Battle 1 and 2. And what else? What else was on this table? There was a bunch of Game Boy games like Metal Gear and DuckTales. A lot of Mario stuff. Bomberman. The, the Bomberman second attack. Bomberman 64 second attack, which is also one of the rarest. How, how am I going to make this work? Like, what do I do? Like, can I, like, do it? Could I sell my car? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to see that. No, that that is really good. That's one of my favorite games. Yeah. It is awesome. I've got a complete, so if you want it. Um, There's a lot in there. Should we move yeah. somewhere else? Is there anywhere else we can start putting these because it's being crowded? Uh, and this table filled up so quick that we then had to migrate to the bigger dining room table. And even that didn't last long before crap was falling off the sides of the table. We had layers of games stacked because we just ran out of room. That's ridiculous. I was in Nerdvana. It was like heaven. <laughs> that game's really good. Back when EA made good games. This is ridiculous. I, more left tr I, I kept trying to like spread them out, but it's just... <laughs> it's not going to feel... Yeah, when you try going for a complete collection, you end up getting a lot of them. He starts unpacking the Mega Drive stuff, and like he's sort of stacking it up, and I'm like, well, I'd like to see them all so I can sort of like suss it out as he's pulling it out. So I start setting them out flat, like evenly. And pretty quick, I run out of space. If 
you watched ABGN, I've got uh, Wally Bear and the No Gang, which was the anti-drug game. The Master System version of Moonwalker. Maxi 15. That's really good. Yeah, I have one. Um, Ninja Turtles 2. <laughs> Ninja Golf. <laughs> <laughs> Which I never got a chance to play, and here's one that Anna's been looking for. Uh, Action 52. <laughs> and these all just. Yeah, he pulls out Action 52, and like at the time, I'm just looking at the Genesis games like, Action 52, what the hell was that? Like. Some silly clear NES game, like, doesn't even look like a NES game. Why would I want that? Like, it's bad. Like, it is crap. It is crap. It is really bad. But this game is one of the rarest NES games. And, you know, when you're watching the Game Chasers and, or Retro Liberty and you see these rare games, it's instantly like, I, I want that game now. I, I need that game in my collection now. And I... Out of everything here, out of everything that I knew was rare and everything that I knew was out of my price range, pretty much no matter what price this was going for, it was coming home with me. It wasn't leaving this house today. It's made it here, I finally had an Action 52 in my house, it's not leaving my house. I don't even care anymore, I got what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Batman on the Famicom. Is that the one with Cheetah Man in it? Yeah. Yeah, with Cheetah Man 1, yeah. <laughs> Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters, which is actually pretty hard to find on the NES. Pretty sure it's actually the only uh, tournament fighter on the NES. I like to play my games, and I know that the reason a lot of games get rare, not all, but a lot of games get rare, is because they're, they're not that good. I didn't just go for rare games. I didn't say that. I said, you're going for rare games, and I'm not. I was going for the rare games. Well, you I didn't just like get I them all. Alright, well, I'm sorry. I okay, I, I screwed up. I'm sorry. When did that come out? Why is that not in my pile yet? Yeah. Okay. No, it's the Atari game that's worth hundreds of dollars. You so want that? that much? Uh, well, the American one's worth about 720. I reckon this one's wow. about 300-ish. Uh, well, I don't want to pay 300, right? <laughs> We pay two bucks for it. Yeah. Oh, we aren't getting it then. <laughs> one of the one of the best the thing the, the 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 big thing here was when we started putting these piles up. Me and Chris. Chris had his little stack of Mega Drive and Genesis games. I had my stack of Mega Drive and Genesis games, and I made a stack of NES games, and I made a stack of the Dreamcast games. All this stuff. It wasn't until we started asking him what he would do for the games that we started to realize that we were getting seriously looked after here. Like Tyler wasn't giving us mates rates, he was giving us like we're making sweet love to him rates, like <laughs> this this was getting a little out of control but I do have my 7800, I can't find a power cable so you want you can have for like two bucks it right. does work, it's just I need a power cable alright, would you got the AV cable? Uh, no, it's a standard RF cable as well alright, I'll do two dollars, yeah two bucks, and if you want I can give you all the 7800 games which is like Ninja Dog, I'll give them to you for ten wait, what? If you, if you take all the 700 games like Ninja Golf and that with it, you can have it all for 10. All of it for 10? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. How much is that? Sorry? How many 7800 games oh, are there? Yeah. Five or so. Alright. I, I reckon the very first price Tyler said, like, Woody and I, like, straight away, we just look at each other and we're just like, okay then. Please continue. When you say system, you mean 50 just for the 32X? And the... I mean the 32X, the Mega Drive, and the Mega CD. Mm -hmm. The whole thing, the 50, with all the hookups. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's one of the games with it as well. Um, thank you. I don't think I've got all the cables here, I'll have to bring them another time, but if you want to hold on to that with the system. Mm -hmm. So I've also got Virtual Fighter and Colibri as well. Which I'll... We didn't know what to do, like, I was just like, suddenly like, wow, maybe. I can afford these games, maybe I should be adding more, like... Maybe like, had a stroke. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's a brain clot developing or something, like... Okay, if I do two bucks on that, because that's got the box in that. Mm -hmm. um. yeah. I'll do these Tari... Didn't see that one, so... What about these? 
Yeah, except they're rarer, so yeah, I'll put them. Since... I'll do this lot for um, ten bucks. It's a good deal. Yeah, because um, I'm taking the dollar off, making that back to a dollar again. And get that in the box. Twenty-two. Which one's a box? Okay, Quackshot's box, but doesn't have the manual. Shakan's box doesn't have the manual. That's box. Another world's complete. Um, Mighty Max is complete. Golden Axe 2 doesn't have the manual and Toe Gemini L2 is complete. Yep, that sounds good. I put the... Do you want Toe Gemini L1? That one's actually really good. What? Isn't that in there? No, only Toe Gemini L2 is in here. Yeah. Toe Gemini, I'm telling you that, but that's one of my favourite games ever. I thought it was in there. <laughs> that one's complete. I'll admit that one's actually up there in the 60s. Yeah. I'll do 25 for the lot. Apparently, put another surprise. Yeah. Sounds good though. Yeah. We go to the NES games and he's got a TMNT game tournament fighters. And he's got Battle Toads. And he's got Team and T2. Oh, that one's kind of rare, so I'll jack it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I want at least 15, 20 bucks for that. Okay, what about without it? Without that, I'll do. Twenty. Because I know Battle Toads is a bit up there as well. Would you do like 30 if I did that? Uh, you can say no. 35. I'll put a sticker on. But it sounds good. Yeah, because that, 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 that you can look it up. That one's actually, actually is. Yeah, no, I trust you, yeah. That was less than $10 a game for Battletoads and TMNT. Tournament Fighters, mind you, which is, goes for, I think, about 30 to 40 on its own. I'd want at least. 75, 80 for it. Again, that's a generous one. I can hold on to it as well. That's like it's it's pretty much a yes, but it can't happen now. Yeah. So I'll hold on to it. So 80 bucks, 75, 80 bucks. Yeah. Tiro, if this game tries to go off me, jack shit for it. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. All right. Because I'll only give you about 40 bucks. Because uh, I know Sparks and Splatterhouse are actually worth a little bit. I'll put those aside, work out a deal. I'll do 10 bucks for those three. Two of, the, two of those have boxes, that one's complete. 10 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, right. Castle Evolution's really good. Mega Drive and Genesis, so I, like, I, I grabbed the, the like, you know, whole Mortal Kombat trilogy. There's like Battletoads in there, Sonic Spinball, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Echo the, the Tides of Time. Yes. Echo the Dolphin 2. Echo the Dolphin 2, let's call it that. So I'll let you know what things are complete in that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I've got the box for that. Um, got, the, got the box for that one. It's the one I don't need the box yeah. for. <laughs> that one's complete. Yeah. But it's like a Platinum Hits edition. Okay. That one's complete. That one I've got the box for. That one I've got the box for. It's like a gold collection box. Yep. That one I've got the box for. Yeah. Because you've got the box for this one, I'll yeah. leave it all because it's pretty common. I'll find. It. Yeah, if, even then on like no. eBay, it's like six bucks for yeah. the loose. Yeah, um, so I just want to worry about it. Yeah, um, I'll do. These titles, you know, like if I were to buy them at a shop, they're probably going to cost me like five to ten dollars each. Twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Put the thing on it. Yeah. Come back to it. This is great, I'm under budget and I get all my Mega Drive games and, and yeah, let's move on. First I was going to control myself. At first I was going to have my little piles and I was going to pick the cheap piles at the end. But the more piles I got and the more numbers I got on these piles, $10, $15, $20, a stack full of Dreamcast games. Wait, what do you want to do on this then? Okay. Um... I'll put the ones aside which I know are worth a little bit. This guy's okay, yeah. That one's worth a little bit. Yeah. Um, I will do. Sixty dollars for the lot. Sixty bucks for the entire lot. That's like that was like five dollars a game. It's doing fifty-five. I'll give you the system for another five bucks. So sixty bucks for everything. Yeah. So that's extra five bucks for the system. Yeah. And he says, you know what? If you buy the stack, I'll throw in the Dreamcast for five dollars. Twenty-five. 
20. 15. You're gonna know only every one of them in Adelaide. <laughs> you want 15? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It just sits here, it doesn't do anything, so it's like whatever, I don't care, it's like to me. I'd probably only like 15 bucks. 15 for that? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll bring the controls down another point. Mm -hmm. If I do find the other games, I'll give it to you for like an extra 10 bucks later on. This is the thing I'm jealous of. Like, because I love Halo. Like, the the first two Halo games are some of my favourite games on the original Xbox. They, they were just amazing and, um, to me, revolutionary for, like, the, the first-person shooter. And to have the, the limited edition console, like, disappear in front of me, like, for $15. I've talked about that for way too long, but that doesn't even cover how jealous I am. You know how it feels to actually own that Xbox? <laughs> I want to throw something at you. <laughs> I don't have anything to throw. You kind of like, you just feel better than most people. Like... <laughs> hey, I'm so in that list. Wow. Now I'm really glad I have that Halo Xbox for $15. I know where all of these are going to be used. <laughs> a green Xbox console. <laughs> Might have been that smug about it. I don't even want it that much. <laughs> it's just that it was really cheap. That's what makes it even <laughs> That's worse. That's what makes me like, so mad about it. <laughs> I know, but like, it doesn't feel right if I sold it to you $15. No, it's, no, like, it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> it's like, why did I just do that? Like, yeah. What am I, Tyler? <laughs>I didn't have much interest in Bomberman either, purely because I believe the price he was asking was too high. This was months ago now. This was like, what, like a month ago? I'm struggling to remember the prices exactly, but I'm pretty sure he wanted over 50 for this, which is fair. I mean, it goes for a few hundred, so, or a couple hundred, so. And again, you just gotta draw the line, but I mean, the games he's bringing here, the, the rarity of the stuff he's bringing and the, and the prices he's offering is ridiculous. I didn't bring the game here, that ended up being one of the few games. That I'll, I'll give you, the game has been modded to plug into a TV but I can never get it to work. Oh, does it work on its own? Yes. And I've got power uh, supply for it as well. Mm -hmm. I'll give it to the Game Gear and I've got about four or five games once completed, I'll do it for 30 bucks. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I finally have a Game Gear. I remember that, that episode a while back when we found that one at the market for like $120 and I was going crazy for it. And then I buy one for 30 bucks, so. That's really cool. It's here, actually. It's right there. It's right there. And there's the crappy football game that I keep in there so dust doesn't get in there. But I'll never actually play it. 15? Yep. yep. I did want this stuff over here, by the way. You want everything. Because um, <laughs> that's actually worth about 40 bucks. I'll do 20. If I can find the box, I'll give you the box. No. <laughs> Sorry, again, that's a dollar. Well, it was yours originally, I'll do 50 cents on it. <laughs> Can't send out of that. Okay, um... Oh, did that one come out of my controller? Yeah, I guess it goes back Box in. Box goes back in there, I'm not charging anything more for that. These four for ten. Uh, no, it's okay. Okay, well that one's got the box, I'll chuck that in and... I'll do twelve. Yep. I'll just bring the box out. The front of the box is a little faded, though, but everything's in there. It's complete. Alright. Yeah. 25? Because Mel Kiss are worth about 40 bucks. 20? Are they all loose? Um, that one's got the box. I was about to say, would you go 20 without it, but. I'll do 20 for the lot if you want them. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. And the sculptor's cut, not gonna lie, I want at least 50 bucks. I understand that. No, that's okay. Okay. But lately I watched Game Chasers episode and um, Jay picked it up for 50. And I'm pretty sure that that Tyler was offering 50 for it. And now looking back, I, I kind of wish I got it. But adding that onto the tab at that point was just going to be too much. So like, the, out of the really rare stuff he had, like Bomberman, Scott's Cart, Action 52, Splatterhouse, that... Atari car, I knew there was only going to be one that I was going to be able to take home. I couldn't take all of them home, I couldn't buy every rare game he had because while he was giving good deals on them, they were still 50 and up. 
I know there is a point where you have to say no. I wanted Action 52, that was the one that I was going home with, so I said no to anything else that was over about 30 bucks for a single game. And that was one of them, and uh, yeah, I do regret that a little now. I do. I do. You're making all the catches today. Yeah. Add that to the pop of the Game Gear games. Thank you. Got more. Again, because so when like I'll get a list of all the stuff when you want to bring the boxes and the rest of the cords and. Do you want to think? So I'm working Monday to Friday, Saturday I've got plans, and Sunday I've got plans. So I can't do anything next weekend unless it's like I drop them like ten minutes on Sunday night or something. Yeah, well, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of games. Like, I went over budget by twenty bucks. Now I'm broke as hell. I got a lot of games. And he comes back gives us more games, and now I'm all broke. Thank you. No I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really, I really do appreciate it. I think this is probably the first game quest where we didn't do it at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so Tyler came around at about 12 o'clock. I had time to have a shower and do my hair and do my nails. and. We all, we all looked very pretty, we all looked really awake. We just we were excited to actually be on camera for a change rather than looking like complete death like I have done for the last 15 episodes. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go down to Southern Games. Um, he let me borrow this Dreamcast, well let me test it because he had no cords for it. I'm going to go down and shoot him an offer on it. Um, the offer I, I want to actually shoot is try and trade some of this crap for it. I'm thinking maybe if he takes a complete Mega Drive for a Dreamcast with no controllers, you know, and cords, we're both getting a good deal because I want one. I got one from Tyler, but as you can see, it's it's pretty yellow. So let's head down to Southern Games, which is a fan frigging tastic store, and we should all, everyone should go check that out. Shouldn't they, Chris? They should, because it's a good place. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shop. I, I really do. The I can't. I, every time we go here and we talk about it, I always say I love this shop because I do. It's the guy who works there is just so nice and generous and offers us good prices. I've said it before, but whatever sticker, whatever price he's got on anything is irrelevant. That's not the price that I have to pay. And I really appreciate that. I appreciate the friends and deals that I've I've been getting lately. So if we did the console for that console yep. and a PS1. Yep. Is that what you said? Yep. Um, the other PS1 with a controller and cords, would you do it for that Power Blade game on the NES? Which one? That Power Blade game on the NES, in the middle. In the middle one? Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. That sounds good to me. I, I, I walked in there with three complete consoles. I walked out with one average NES game and a half a console, but I'm, I'm happy. It's, that's the reason why I went down there, so. For the record, I don't straighten my hair. He does. I don't. I think that should be mentioned because, like, you sort of. I think that's painful to the audience and the quality of our hair. <laughs> wow. I should. I think. I think I quit. I think this is it. Hey, Chris. <laughs> yeah. You know how you put it on a green screen right now? Yeah. You know what I think's green. <laughs> 